I represent, I believe, the American dream. Being able to give a couple hundred million dollars away according to the press. Only in America could someone with $800 of acute leave pay achieve this enormous blessing. I think that's what makes America so different and that's why I love this place a lot. I'm Foster Freeze. Maybe you've heard of me. This is the Foster Freeze Only in America story. Well, it started out in a very humble way. I grew up in a small town in northern Wisconsin. The, the uh, richest guy in town was the uh, mobile gas staff operator and the uh, undertaker. In, in high school, I was captain of the basketball team, the track team, the golf team, the baseball team, president of class, president of student council, valedictorian, all the things that are possible when you only have 16 kids in your class. <laughs> well, very rich in terms of uh, the values that my mom and dad had. Well, I think some of the values that they taught me is first resilience. My grandfather said, hey, uh, I'm going to starve uh, before I take any welfare. And also hard work, the work ethic. My mom would uh, put chickens in the freezer that we'd butcher in our basement and corn that she'd uh, uh, make herself so she didn't have to buy store-bought food. We, we were so grateful for all the things we had, even though as we watched uh, the world around us, we certainly weren't considered wealthy people by any standards. So I uh, went into college from my high school career where I was bent on winning. And I remember sitting in school and seeing, you know, some of my friends' dads get killed in Korea. We all have to do our share. My uh, original training uh, was a, uh, a stint at Fort Benning, Georgia where I was trained to be an infantry platoon leader. It was hard work to learn how to do that and to be able to motivate men. And then uh, after that, I went to Fort Bliss, uh, uh, Texas, where I was engaged as a uh, intelligence officer for a guided missile brigade. What did your military experience teach you? How, how to bounce a quarter on a bed. <laughs> I just, I finally got very good at that. And it, it taught me also how you're responsible for other people's lives. And, and that when you go through the chow line, uh, as a lieutenant, I was gonna be the last guy that went through the chow line, just like in my Western life. You know, I make sure I take care of my horse before I have my evening meal, make sure he's watered and fed and curried. Coming out of the Army with $800 of acute leave pay, a 62 Volkswagen, a baby, uh, and a height of bed and an Admiral TV. And our, our beginnings were, were quite humble. Each one of us are a composition of the people that influence our lives, and none of us get to where we are by ourselves. Now, managing $15 billion is not a one-man job. Just through word of mouth, people loved our investment strategy where we didn't go after the well-known companies, but we tried to find sort of a rosebud and then when it turned into a full-blown blossom and all the institutions want it, we would sell it and then go back and buy other rosebuds. And also, I, I believe the fact God has given me a gift to how to pick people. And the people we selected were absolute champions. People sometimes accuse me of being generous, and my first response is, hey, guys, this ain't my money. It's the Lord's money, <laughs> and if it's mine, you wouldn't be getting one red dead cent. Uh, in the biblical sense, we've been set free to serve, and so let's go out and, and, and do that. I, I love the exhortation that we get by reading the Bible. It says we are designed to be a channel of God's love to others, to be his hands and feet in a hurting world, and to be a blessing to every person he puts in the path. And, the joy that's come from knowing that mission, rather than saying, hey, I, I gotta make another million. <laughs> it, it just created a whole sense of joy of feeling I kinda am, I'm in step with what God would have me be. Why would anyone wanna be a, a socialist to have all this free stuff, when if you have an economy that you can earn your way? Envy used to be sin. Now it's embedded in the very fabric of our government where people are entitled to everything and you, you're not going to be limited to what you can buy. You look at welfare. Well, welfare, you can't make 100000 a year in welfare, but if you go out and work hard and get a job, you can, you can become a foster freeze. And uh, I, I'd love to have you join the family.
Don't take the bait, kids. Socialism sucks. Don't take the bait. And so this guy, Charlie Kirk, sees me in a, uh, a stairwell wearing my deerskin jacket, and he tells me what he wants to do. I said, well, this guy's 18 years old, and he has this vision of what he wants to do. I like this guy. And if you look what Charlie, and, and not only him, but the people he surrounded himself with, I mean, they're eager, they're excited, they're people that want to give and want to prosper and want to succeed. Well, what, what Turning Point means to me is these young people love America. Where people on the left, I don't think they really think about all this investment that soldiers and died and sailors that died and all these people that made our country what it is. And But the Turning people, they get it. And I think uh, the more we can encourage them and, and uh, help them educate their, their fellow students, uh, these, these people on the left, they're not necessarily stupid or evil. They're just very, very badly informed. Uh, freedom, integrity, honesty, hard work. Uh, this is what Turning Point means to me. That, that means a great deal to me that these people are willing now to, to fight the good fight. And uh, we're, we're, uh, we're going to back go Turning Point right to the hilt. I mean, I'm sort of what people would call the American dream. I'm Foster Fries, and that is my Only in America story. Only in America can $800 turn into a beautiful ranch like this. Only in America can you blow up stuff on your own ranch's gun range. You know what's so awesome about this country? You get to eat what you just saw running around the field a few hours ago. This didn't have any GMOs, it didn't have any anything, just nice grass. Always be grateful for God's blessing in our lives. I represent, I believe, the American dream. A couple of ranches, some real estate, being able to give a couple hundred million dollars away, according to the press, have a, introduces a billionaire. Uh, this is the uh, American story. Foster Freeze, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs>